please stand and let us pray. So, good morning class. Okay, thank you and be seated. So, before we proceed to our topic, let's have a short recap about our topic class meeting. Yes, Crystal. Okay, very good. Another one? Yes, Francis. Okay, so our last topic is all about the different types of sewing machine. So for today, I am going to discuss the different parts of lock stitch sewing machine. So we all know that lock stitch sewing machine, it is used in school and at home and it is also called a domestic sewing machine so a uh, luxe sewing machine it is run by foot and can be converted to electric power machine so for today I am going to discuss the parts of sewing machine and the sewing machine have the two major parts which is the upper parts and the lower parts so the upper parts composed of the head the arm and the bed so the head is the complete part of the sewing machine and the arm is the carved part of the head and the bed is the flat portion of the machine so as you can see in the picture so this is the arm and this is the bed of the machine so first uh, I'm going to discuss the parts of the sewing machine in the arm so the first one is the spool pin so a spool pin it is the thread holder so the purpose of this pull pin uh, it is the one who hold the thread while sewing and the next is the thread guide so the purpose of the thread guide is to keep the thread in position another one is the thread take up lever so the thread take up lever it releases the thread and interlocks with the bobbin thread and the next is the presser bar lifter. So the presser bar lifter, it moves the presser foot high. And another one is the tension. So the tension controls uh, the looseness and the tightness of the stitches. The next one is the needle bar. So the, the difference between the needle bar and the needle clamp. So the needle bar, it holds the needle in place while the needle clamp it holds and tightens the needle did you get it class okay so next uh, the next is the presser foot so the presser foot it holds the fabric in place while sewing so it is the one who uh, holds the fabric so that it cannot move while you are in sewing and the next is the needle so the needle it is the slender tool attached in the needle clamp used for sewing so everybody knows what is the needle okay very good so next is the bobbin winder so the purpose or the or the uses of the bobbin winder is to control the bobbin while winding the thread and the next is the st stitch regulator which is the purpose of this is to check the length of the stitches another is the balance wheel so the balance wheel it is set the mechanism uh, in motion and the last one is the belt the belt is uh, connected or it is connect the balance wheel to the drive wheel so this is all the part of the sewing machine in the arm portion so the next is the part of the sewing machine under the bed so the first one is the feed dog so the si feed dog it is move the fabric while sewing and as you can see in the picture so this is the feed dog and the next is the throat plate so the throat plate is the window of the feed dog and it is where the bobbin threads come out and the next is the slide plate so the slide plate it is the movable plate that covers the shuttle and the bobbin case and the next is the shuttle 
the bobbin and the bobbin case. So the, this three is connected to each other. So the the bobbin is a metal spool used for winding thread, and the bob the bobbin case it, it holds the bobbin, and the shuttle uh, it holds the bobbin case. Did you get it, class? Okay, so. This is the part of the sewing machine under the bed. So tomorrow, I am going to discuss the different uh, parts of the sewing machine in the lower portion. So, is there any questions and clarification regarding to our topic today? Okay, so, if none, get one whole sheet of paper and then answer your quiz for five minutes only and then after you answer your quiz submit your answer in our uh, Google classroom and then after that I will also post your uh, assignment for tomorrow are you done class okay so that's all for today thank you for listening goodbye and God bless